Chinaburi, a province situated three hours west of Bangkok. It is an area full of rich culture and a fascinating yet tragic history. So we came to Ganchinaburi looking for the Bridge on the River Kwai, which is a famous structure that was built here in World War II. However, we made a shocking discovery. Ganchinaburi uh, me Menam Kwai me. Menam Kwai. Me me kha di me kha. The River Kwai. Me me. Chai kha me me kha. We'll tell you more about what we learned, but first come enjoy Ganchinaburi with us. from beautiful Ganjanaburi. We are at Mina Cafe, which is a very popular spot here in the city. It is packed with people and we think it's because they're here for the same reason that we're here. We're having coffee first and then we're heading to the Tiger Cave Temple. Which is like, you can see it from here. <laughs> probably like five minutes drive. Yeah, it's uh, also probably really busy today because it's around the new year and Thais like to go to the temple to ask for blessings and to... They pray overnight to the new year. Oh, so bringing uh, good luck from this year to next year as well. When we walked in, we saw a huge lineup of people ordering coffee and snacks and food and we thought that maybe it would take forever. But we actually got our drinks really quickly. I got a Americano yuzu soda and then Nok got his normal Americano. What's the what's yuzu? It's just Japanese plum? No, yuzu is like an orange. Like oh, between okay. like an okay. orange and a lemon. But yeah, Japanese. Can you try? Delicious. There's also mm. pizzas and some Thai snacks and tons of really nice seating in this area. So you can probably come here for lunch and not just coffee like us. That's the um, tiger temple we were talking about. Mm -hmm. What does it call in Thai? What? Kamsa. Very good. I feel like you're easily in the way of other people's uh, photos. So I gotta walk slowly. There are a lot of spots here for you to take photos. They have like an uh, old beaten tractor, rice tractor. I was gonna say too, they even have like a bathtub over there. I don't know why you'd want to take a bath in the middle of the dry rice field. <laughs> and tent, they have some seatings in the tent. And look at those girls on top of the tree, like a dead uh, branch. Over there, there's also a staircase to nowhere. Right over there. <laughs> <laughs> we're saying this, so we're probably gonna go and take photos there too. Supposed to move the props around. <laughs> hey, how about let me let me take you around? I no no, it's okay. I'm, I'm good here. <laughs> he can't stay still for more than five minutes. I swear. <laughs> you take a photo of me in the bathtub in the middle of the rice right field. Yeah. <laughs> you have too much clothes on for in a bathtub. <laughs> oh, no 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 no. <laughs> I think this is my favorite seat in the house. This is pretty awesome. It's like we're going camping. <laughs> we should throw our, our YouTube channel on the screen so we can watch it. And you know, get these people to enjoy it too. Instead of the view? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
right here at Wat Tham Se. You can see it over here, right there. But there are actually two temples here. One is Wat Tham Noi, and one is Wat Tham Se. Wat Tham Noi is a Chinese temple. Is it where the big pagoda is? Yes, there are two separate entries. So if you want to go to the Chinese one, you have to go in here. But we want to check out the Thai one first, so we have to go around. I'm very surprised with all the big tour buses here. Like I thought there'd be a lot of people, but those big tour buses—I don't know, fit 50 people in them. <laughs> they look like uh, transformer buses. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of people here trying to get the blessings for the new year. There are so many vendors in front of the temple, which is perfect because we'll be hungry by the time we're done. So most people are deciding to take the tram thing, so you can see here, this is the lineup. The steps are actually not too busy, so I think it might be a good choice for us. These stairs are pretty steep. Right here. That's incredible. Look. Whoa. So this Buddha statue is actually the largest Buddha statue in Ganchanaburi province. And it's 18 meters high and 10 meters wide. It is so beautiful and it's overlooking a just huge area of rice fields. There's like not really anything around here. It's just the temple when you look up. See the long line up here, Dad? They're just uh, lining up to offer flowers and ask for good blessing for the new year. They also have this uh, little gold uh, sticker that they put on top of the Buddha statue. Gold represents wealth, so they're asking for good fortune. So it's really interesting to see that these temples have different styles. Like there's Chinese looking temples, there's Thai looking temples, some are even Hindu style, but they all seem to blend quite nicely over here and it's a really beautiful spot to walk around. Here's a fun fact that I found. The reason they call it Wat Tham Sura, which translates to Tiger Cave, because it was once a home to a tiger family. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. There's also one other temple, a famous temple in Thailand called Wat Tham Se too, but it's in Krabi province, the Tiger Cave Temple. Mm -hmm. So it's the same name, but different. Maybe and there's another tiger family that used to live there. Probably, that's probably how they named it. <laughs> named that one too. You see this gong over here? Mm -hmm. If you wrap it with your two hands, you will be rich. Oh, okay. I saw someone doing that down there actually. Lots of money, lots of gold. <laughs> so we decided to take the cable car down because it looks fun. Yeah. But you actually go backwards to go down. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, am I getting in the back here? Yeah. yeah. What? This is pretty scary actually. So because we're only going one way, it's going to cost us 10 baht each. So it's um, pretty cheap. A short little ride. <laughs> that was fun. Oh. And scary. <laughs> that was undoubtedly one of the most beautiful temples I've seen in Thailand. This is uh, the railway. At uh, we're at Tamgrasse Station. This is where you can walk on the actual railway that was built during World War II that is still in use now. Wow! Wow! This is incredible. 
I swear I heard the train. I think we might be lucky. But there's still tons of people on the railway right now. Did it pass? I don't think so. I think we might be lucky. Let's go check it out. Watch your step. We could walk all the way there. You wanna do that? I wonder which way the the train is coming. I think it's coming that way. No. It's actually a little scary. Because that's it. <laughs> Don't trip. Exactly. If you come over here, you can see the original structure still intact. See the wooden section? Yeah. And also the original uh, rails. Mm -hmm. Wow. Be very careful when you're walking here because there are these bolts and you can easily trip. Uh oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. It is quite scary. Yeah, it is. It is. It is very scary. I'm. I'm stuttering. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this part of the railway might be more enjoyable to go across when you're on the train. <laughs> this is this is this is a bit much. <laughs> so this part of the railway is actually at the stop called Tam Grasse, where there is a cave just on the side of it. But the most common place for people to stop at the railway to see the train pass by is actually right on the bridge over the river Kwai in the center of Ganchanaburi. And we did go there earlier and it was pretty cool to see everyone standing on the bridge waiting for the train to pass by. The train even stopped briefly at the beginning of the bridge so everyone can take photos and then slowly, very slowly move across the bridge. There are little platforms where you can stand too, so you are not in danger. Let me check if the train is coming. How are you gonna check? Is that how you check? Yeah, you gotta listen to, uh, to the train from the rail. Is it coming? No, I think we're good. I think we're okay to vlog here. So we are at the Thailand Burma Railway, also known as the Death Railway. And there is a very tragic past to why it is called the Death Railway. So in World War II, when the Japanese army took over parts of Thailand, they wanted to build this railway to transport their goods to, through Burma to India to their troops there. And they built this railway using the labor from allied prisoners of war from countries such as Britain, Netherlands, Australia, New Zealand, America, and they also had local hired workers that are Thai, Malaysian, uh, Singaporean, Burmese, and a lot of people died building this railway from malnutrition, from being overworked, uh, from disease spreading in the camps. Uh, there's a there's a lot more you can learn about this in Ganchanaburi city though. There is the Jeet Museum, there is the Death Railway Museum, the War Cemetery. Basically this is a huge part of Ganchanaburi. They say that each sleeper that is laid here at the railway represent the number of lives taken. So this is a sleeper. So you can imagine the number of people who lost their lives. Before coming here, we didn't know much about the history of Ganchanaburi here or the railway. So we actually went to the war cemetery yesterday, walked the grounds, and we'll show you what it's like there. He's only 24, a young private. You died that we might love. God bless you, our son. We shall love you always. So today we spent some time at the War Museum and 
at the war cemetery here and it is a little bit heavy to just experience a little bit of the past the history of Ganchinaburi and at the same time I think we feel very lucky to have not grown up in a time of war even though there are regional wars around the world that are happening and children still growing up in war times but like ourselves have not experienced it growing up and we know that we are very lucky to have had the childhood and the life that we have so if you wanted to learn more, you can also visit the Jis Museum, the Death Railway Museum, or just come revisit the grounds, come and check out the railway. But this part of the railway is actually not the typical part where people go to see the train pass by. Mm -hmm. The one that you're talking about is over the river, commonly known as River Kwai. But here is the shocking truth about that. There is no such a thing as River Kwai. We uh, went to the public, <laughs> we went to the local people in Gachinaburi and we asked them, where is River Kwai? And they're confused, there is no River Kwai. Because it is called River Kwai. The only reason that people, Westerners, call it River Kwai because of Hollywood. What have I done? So the fame of the movie and the subsequent rise in tourism in the Ganchinaburi area created a bit of a problem for the Thai authorities because there was no River Kwai. But I think eventually they adapted some places to call, you know, River Kwai Hotel and River Kwai Restaurant um, because that's what Thailand does. <laughs> Based on the movie, they just go uh, with the trend. And Kwai in Thai means buffalo. So there is no river Kwai, guys. There are Kwais in the river, though. Yeah. <laughs> the sun is setting and the mosquitoes are coming out. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little adventure in Kanchanaburi with us because we truly love the city. We learned so much here. We hope you guys did as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Don't sit here waiting for a sign